The airwaves provided me the platform to bring about a balance to all that massive amount of anti-German hysteria. The anti-German propaganda was so intense that thousands, thousands of German Americans anglicized their names. Imagine feeling pressured and fearful to change your name so you'd fit in. Thousands, even names of cities, changed their names. New Berlin became North Canton. East, uh, or uh, New Dresden became East Canton, all within the reach of my voice when I'm on the air. And even hamburgers became sales, Salisbury steaks, and sauerkraut became Liberty Cabbage. Tens of thousands of German Americans were incarcerated during both world wars, while at the same time about a third of our soldiers were German Americans, and you know many of the generals and the names that were German Americans. As stated, I have talked to dozens of survivors from our internment programs. What I found astonishing is that the fact that they and their guards were forced to sign an oath never to speak or write about their experiences in these camps. And that is perhaps one reason why so little of it is, is known. Fortunately, not all followed their oath. Why have I spoken about these injustices on the air? First, because it is the morally, morally the right thing to do, and secondly, these human rights violations cannot and will not be pushed under the carpet. And also, they may not be repeated ever again against any ethnic group. In Ohio at the time, the instruction of German was outlawed. George Orwell told us that he who controls the past also controls the future. It is therefore imperative that uh, we fully are cognizant of our true past. In Columbus, for example, and it may shock many of you, Columbus, Ohio, there were some 200 German breeds of dogs, such as German Shepherds, Schnauzers, Dachshunds, those are wiener dogs, and others who were stolen from the homes of their loving owners, killed and butchered and then buried in Schiller Park. The name of the park was then changed to Freedom Park. Now it is again known as Schiller Park and part of German village in our state capital. 